All right, in this video, video number three for the T's math tips, and this is going to be another perimeter slash square paper problem. I did a video in the past back on the T's math tutorial real world problems. It was goal M.1.5. We did some problems that were very similar to the problems that you run across in that goal using the ATIT study manual. You can find that video and many more by going to my website. There is a new URL, www.bcraftmath.com, underneath the test prep, ATITs, the tutorial videos, goal based, and M.1.5 is right there. So check out that square paper problem first, and now we're going to look at a very similar example, but we're going to do it a slightly different way, and in my opinion, quite a bit faster. So we have a patio seating area that is a rectangular shape and it measures 18 feet by 30 feet. So here's that rectangular patio. We would like to put a border around this patio using square pavers. You can buy these at Lowe's or Home Depot. And these square pavers have sides of nine inches by nine inches. Notice here we got feet and we got inches. If each square paver costs $3.50, how much would you have to pay to completely wrap the patio area don't forget the corners. It's a very similar problem. Yes, I'm throwing an additional twist onto it because now we're going to talk about how much money we're going to pay. Now, a fast way to approach this is to go ahead and convert these feet into inches. Go ahead and get this in your head. 12 inches is one foot. So if we take 30 feet and we multiply it by 12, since there are 12 inches in one foot and we have 30 feet here, 30 times 12 is 360. Therefore, 30 feet is the exact same thing as 360 inches. Let's repeat this process for 18 feet. 18 feet times 12 inches per foot, we're gonna have 216 inches there. Now, why is this helpful to do this? Because now we have the same unit of measurements as our square pavers. You could have taken these inches and converted them into feet, but I chose to take my feet and convert it into inches. You will get the same answer either way, but I think this is the better approach because we have nice whole numbers, whereas if we converted nine inches to feet, nine inches is actually nine twelfths of a foot, which reduces to 0.75 feet, but that's neither here nor there. Don't worry about that. So we have 360 inches across this side here. Each square paver is going to take up nine inches out of this 360 inches. 360 inches is a whole bunch of inches compared to nine. The quick way to do this now is to take 360 inches and let's divide it by nine inches. This is going to tell you how many nines it's going to take to get 360. It's going to take 40 of these pavers. Since each paver is 9 inches, it's going to take 40 of those to give us that total of 360. The confusing idea here is knowing when to multiply like we did at the beginning when we multiplied by 12, but now we are dividing. Therefore, we took 30 feet times 12 inches per foot. That's a total of 360 inches. Each square paver is 9 inches on a side, so if we take 360 and divide by 9, we get 40 pavers. There's going to be 40 pavers across here. I'm just going to write 40p, which implies we also have 40 pavers on this side of our rectangle as well. Let's repeat this process here, 216 total inches. Let's divide that by 9 since each paver is going to cover 9 of those 216 inches. So therefore, we're going to need 24 pavers down this side. So again, knowing when to multiply and when to divide. We took 18 feet times 12 to get the number of inches in 18 feet. And since each paver only takes up 9 inches, take that 216, divide by 9, we get 24 pavers on this side, which also implies we have 24 pavers over here. So how many pavers do we need in all? Well, we need 40 plus 40, that's the two 30-foot sides, plus 24 plus 24, because we have two of those sides there as well. Now, don't forget your corners. What's going to happen here is you're going to leave an open corner here, 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 and here. So we want to add on four additional pavers as well for a total of 132 pavers. Now, this is not our final answer, but we do have 132 pavers in all. We're gonna pay $3.50 
per paver, how much would we have to pay in all? This is a matter of knowing when to multiply. $3.50 is what you're gonna pay for one paver. We need 132 of those pavers. So therefore, let's take 132 pavers times $3.50. You can just do 3.5 or 3.50, and you have to pay $462 for these pavers. Of course, that is before tax. We're not factoring in tax in this problem, but that is the price that you're going to pay before tax for 132 pavers at $3.50 each. So there you have it, a different approach here. Instead of me diving into detail, drawing a whole bunch of tiny square pavers, I encourage you to watch that video and come back and watch this one. It's gonna take some practice probably for you to understand when do you multiply, when do you divide, and how do we go about approaching this? But hopefully with me showing you two different uh, approaches here, maybe you can find which one works for you best. And there you have it, another square paver problem that involves perimeter with a little twist here where we brought some money into the picture as well. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.